Okay. Um, right. Hi. Um, my name is Tom. I work in uh, the support team at Milner Brown. Uh, the topic I'm going to be covering today is year end. Uh, I just want to mention our our customer event coming up before we start. Um, this is called uh, Reaching New Heights, and it's on the 1st of February in the Guinness Storehouse in Dublin. Um, you can take a tour, you can have a SAP Business One roadmap and demonstrations, and there'll be presentations and so on. To sign up for this, uh, it'll be best to visit the Milner Brown website or to go to events at milnerbrown.com. Okay, so we will now start um, our webinar on year end. I hope you can all see um, my screen with SAP open. Okay, so before we start the year end, I just want to say um, it will be best for everyone to back up their database before they do the year end in SAP. This is because um, if anything was to go wrong, then obviously you have something to revert back to and you can go and you can restore from that backup and then, for example, do it again if need be. Okay, so first things first, in year end, um, whether it's yourself or maybe your manager will have to set this up for you, you just need to make sure that you have the correct authorizations to run year end in, um, in SAP. So what you do is you go to administration, system initialization, authorizations, and general authorizations. You'll then see a list of employees on the left-hand side here. For example, if Ian was running the year-end in my system, I'd have to go down to Ian's name and just type in period end. Right here, you'll see it comes up with period end closing, and at the moment, Ian has no authorizations to do period end closing. All I need to do is just set him to full authorizations and click update. That means Ian will now be able to run the period end closing in SAP Business One. So just a little recap. Administration, system initialization, authorizations, and general authorizations. And then you just set the user that you would like to run or um, period end closing to have full authorizations to do so. Okay, um, going on to our next step. We then need to go back to administration, into system initialization, and then into posting periods. And what we need to do in posting periods is we're going to be running the year end today for 2017. When you run a year end, there's um, one thing that needs to be done before you run the year end. What you need to do is you need to make sure that the first period of the, of the year, of the fiscal year that you're running the year end for, needs to be set to unlocked. So you just do this by going to posting periods, drilling into the period and changing the period status to unlocked. You then need to do exactly the same for the last period of the year that you're running the year end for. Set this to unlocked as well. And you need to then make sure that the first period of 2018 is also set to unlocked. So you'll now see the first period of the 2017 year is set to unlocked. The last period of the 2017 year is set to unlock, and the first period of the 2018 year is set to unlock. Okay, um, now we're ready to run our period end close or year end close. So what we need to do is once again we go to administration, we go into utilities, and we go to period end closing. So that's administration, utilities, period end closing. You open up the period end closing. Now, what you need to do first of all is you need to select the, the PL accounts that you that you as a company want to use. So for example, in mine, they're, they're all selected and I'm happy to use them all, so that's fine. But if you were, for example, to, just to select a few, then you just click on the ones you want. Or if you want to select them all, you just click the large X up here and it will select them all for you. The next part of period end close is we need to select the period that we want to run it for. So we need to choose the, the year that we want to run it for, and then we need to choose the period. So we need to choose from 2017 period 1 to 2017 period 12, because this is period end closing, but we're doing a year end close, and we want to close the whole of 2017. Next, we need to um, select the uh, retained earnings account and the period end closing account. So in my example, this is the retained earning account and this is the year-end clear down account. 
Um, for you guys, it may be slightly different in your system. You should um, you should know what these accounts are, and you should know what to what to select within these accounts. Okay, we then want to execute our period end closing. And this will bring up the period end closing window. What we want to do here is we need to select our references and our value dates. So what we would normally use is year end 2017. Year end 2017. The value date we normally select the 31st of the 12th, 17, the last day of the year. And the document date would be the same. Uh, in the remarks, we normally just put year end 2017. This might be slightly different for you guys. Obviously, this is this can be personal to you, and you may need, may want to select out, um, other things. But for us, we we would normally put year end 2017 as it's tidy, and you know exactly what 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 has gone on. Right. Secondly, we need to select the accounts that we want to want to choose. So. For example, I, I would like to select all of them, as I'm sure everyone else would, and we would just double click on the, the approved column up here to select them all. So we have them all selected here, and then we click execute. This would run our, pe our period end closing, and as you can see, all the accounts are now gone. Okay, so finally, we can go back, and we, and we just want to select our year, our year end account and just check that everything's gone cr gone through correctly. So we're now in chart of accounts and we've got our year end clear down account. We want to drill into our year end clear down account. And we just need to set the dates to the year that we want to look. So it'll be the first of the first 17 to the 31st of the 12th 17. And we need to select post and date. And here you can see these are these are the exact transactions which we have just generated from the year end, and they're all selected here with a post and date of the 31st of the 12th 17, as that's what we set it to. So there you go. That's um that's period end close. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the webinar and it was helpful. And um, I'm sure I'll speak to a few of you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.